Okay, so I gaff taped the window screen down in the box, laid down the dryer sheets, and I decided to go uh, without the peanuts because I read uh, a couple of interesting articles online about how it might, might not actually be a good thing to do. I'll post them as like a little hot link at this part of the video. But I got another package in today from Solex. So here's my piece of Solex. I ordered 10 feet and they actually sent me 12 feet 3 inches which is awesome because that means now what I can do is I can take all four sides and just make one piece I believe so that'll be fun. So this is the new way that I'm gonna cut it basically here's one side here's the front here's the other side and then the back it's obviously not to scale but this total is less than 12 feet it actually only comes to 135 and a half inches and then it leaves me enough room to get the top part right here because the width of this section is less than four feet and this is four feet one inch so I'll be able to pretty much cut this all out. Okay the greenhouse box is now mounted on the back of the RV uh, this is the Solex material that I use three and a half millimeter and what I ended up doing was cutting one big piece uh, I silicone the joint here and then the rest of it wraps around as as one big piece that kind of lays out and then I you know made the ceiling on it and I got these little little latches here on each side that hold the top down and when you look inside I got some soil here and those are the hoses from the water runoff system that come down off of the garage so they go right back into there and the only problem right now is that the angle of it as you can see the trailer hitch it's got a pretty steep angle uh, so it's kind of angled back a little bit right now uh, I might try to make an improvement on that uh, we'll see how much I get all right I just watered the garden and as you can see the drainage is happening only on the passenger side exactly what I wanted uh, with the raked angle and then the holes over there okay so we're gonna look inside the garden and here got my thread holding up the garden got the washer there it keeps it in place and then we look down got some cherry tomatoes over here and as I pan to the left got some basil got two kinds of peppers got green peppers and got little Thai peppers in the back and then as I keep panning got some chard over here and then up here in the corner I've got sorrel which is I guess kinda like a lettuce substitute it's got a much different flavor to it and then in the corner I've got some oregano so this will be a really nice garden to have supplement for cooking throw some things in pasta sauces and salads and such so that is that's the mobile greenhouse okay update on the sprinkler system attached it through is a great suggestion of a friend of mine Mike and drilled a bunch of little holes in the hose now it sits here and we're gonna run a water test alright let's do it so we're testing the water system Pouring some water over the side. I hear water. Don't go on the other side. It should be coming out both directions now. A lot of what I put down yeah! There. Look at that! It's working! We've got a sprinkler system. Look at that. <laughs> 